ROM COLLECTOR Alright guys, welcome back to another instructional video here. I'm trying to do a video on how to um, work around your USB loader GX. Uh, some of the settings you gotta you gotta set. You know that I always set it on on other Wii's that I always did. But um, let me show you guys. Let me show you guys my setup so you guys can see what I what I use to play and uh, and, and I'm gonna show you in the future uh, how how to organize your your files and your SD card in the front of the Wii and. Uh, on a on a HAC drive on a hard drive or or on a micro SD with an adapter for the USB. I'll show you both things now. Uh, here we got my setup. It's my my Wii. I got front SD. I got a 32 gig SD in there. And then I have my HDMI adapter and my hard drive. And that's where I keep all the Wii games and and GameCube games. All the Super Nintendo, Sega, all those games go in there. So there you go in my setup. I I took my Wii apart and I painted it. I plastic dipped it. Uh, simple stuff. Elgato on the back there. All right, let me show you the the micro SD and the SD adapter. I bought a bunch of these SD cards, micro SDs. There you go. You can see I got the SD, the SD adapter. It has for SD and micro SD. I always use the micro SD. This is an 8 gig that I just use to like copy games. Whenever I copy a game, I always use this setup. Where, where I show you the other video, the rip it. So I rip it into a micro SD and then I convert those files, those ISO files, into WBF files. And then I, uh, I add them to the, to the hard drive or or micro SD a bigger size than this one all right guys so you can see um, now we're gonna go into the USB loader GX and uh, we're gonna check out um, some of the options that I want to show you guys all right. Thanks again guys for all the views, all the follows, actually no follows. Alright guys, thanks again for all the views and the videos, even my random videos that I have. Uh, ones that I um, just play like random games and stuff, but um, I appreciate the views. Give you guys the views. Maybe you guys can help me with some subs. Subscribe. Oh, more this way. Oh, more this way. There you go. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Um, all right, let's go into the USB loader and let's um, let me show you some of the options we're gonna use. All right, guys. Okay, we're back into the loader. All right, let me show you guys some of the things that you have to change if you want. Depending on the amount of games you have, I have 652. So for, so for me, the only option to display the games is like this. I mean, just other options, but I'll show you. So you can go like that with the windows but it's just so many windows. I don't know. I don't know. I just kind of like the 
the one that I have like a stack. You can do it like this too. We don't have have other games. I don't know. I miss up to you guys. I just like this one. This is just more. I feel it's more organized. All right, guys. That's just one of the options. You got three different ways to display your games, and then you're gonna have the basic search where you can search for um, search for game stuff. Here you can sort different different ways you want to um, organize your games, alphabetical order, the ones you play the most. I always just do alphabetical order. I mean, doesn't really matter. That's up to you guys. So this is the one I play the least, the most. We'll just leave it back in the ABC. All right, oh, yeah. oh, I'll just leave it right here. But remember, guys, the more games you have, the more the loader is going to take its time. If you have a micro SD with like 128 gigs and I don't know, like 70 games, it'll be pretty fast. Uh, I, I did a lot of those. Normally, when I did the Wii's that I was doing, I was doing them with 128 gig micro SD with the adapter I show you guys and I was able to fit like around 70 60 65 games all the top games too all the Mario you know, Galaxy 1 2 Metroid Zelda all that stuff I right, know this option it's pretty it's pretty important sometimes some of the people that I did the Wii for, they call me and they're like, oh, I can't see the games. So you always have to make sure you have these two things clicked on, okay? Checked on or whatever you want to say. Because if you don't and you have uh, nothing, it's going to show you zero games. And let's say you come over here and you click on this. It's gonna show you a bunch of stuff like this. Like you have to get the the covers for the games. But these are not games. These are basically all the channels the Wii uses and some of the applications. Like for the Super Nintendo, for the Sega, for the uh, I have the Name, I have the I'm sorry, the the arcade Manny. Whatever. I'll show you guys, but it's basically these are all the apps so these are night games so you click on something it might it might freeze or it might just uh, not read nothing and then you call me and be like yo what happened you, you gave me you gave me a Wii with, with 15 games that don't work I'll be like look go into the console seller console selector select loader mode and then you click on everything off and then you click GameCube and Wii games if I only gave you Wii games you click your Wii games if I gave you both games you click GameCube games so I got both in my hard drive here we go so we press it and guess what guys it takes a second because there's a lot of games and almost got a gig of games in there so it takes a while to load them up but once they do they all should appear and they all should be playable one thing I give you advice on is we you ever download a game, you can kind of check if it works. When you come to the screen, you do the Wi-Fi game cover thing that I show you in the other video. And once you click on it, you just see a display like this. If this is black or you see something weird or, or you don't see nothing, 
that means that that game might be um not working properly and on the gamecube games when you click on the gamecube games after you get the covers you should have something like that too if you, if you don't hear that if you don't hear that noise the gamecube noise or you don't see a picture of something the game might not work and another advice whenever you're downloading games especially gamecube games don't download any games from from like germany the uh, european and american ones the usa and europe ones are you the ones you can use that you can see on the covers like you see this is a european one the rated e ones are always going to be plus seven that's another euro i downloaded a lot of them these two but they all work and they have an option for you you know to play in english or because you know english people are they speak english too so i guess that's what it is but uh that's advice <coughs> Alright guys, so we did uh, how to get your game covers, how to make sure you got the right stuff over here so you can play, how to display this different stuff, and now we're going to go, oh, this, just one more option, this right here, the playlist like this, you know, you can keep it down like this, but like I said, my, my favorite's always been, I mean this one, alright guys, one more option I'll show you. And I'll show you. Okay, I'll show you with this game. Load this game up. Chicken Blaster. I'll play some of these. You know, when you have kits and stuff, you got a couple controllers, they can blast some chickens, I guess. Okay. Okay, Chicken Blaster. I need the. I need the shooter. Blast some, blast some chickens. All right, so we'll let the game load up. And loading times are really quick on the games now. The game. All right. Yeah, the USB loader just had a new uh, update that made the uh, load up real quick. All right, so we go back to the Wii menu, right? You're playing at this game. You will click the Wii menu. It will take you back to the home, the home menu. But one setting you can change on the USB loader is the one I'm going to show you next. So I can do this. Instead of going back to the home menu every time and you going back on the USB loader again and getting back on it, it just goes back to it. It takes a little while, like I said, because it's a lot of games, but. They actually changed. They made it faster. So, all right, guys. So I'm back here. I'm back in the chicken blaster, and we're gonna go to this option. I'll show you a couple options you can change, or you can mess with if you have any issues. All right, on the loader settings, everything you can leave basically normal. You're not gonna touch none of it. Everything should be set up by itself. The only thing you can do is this this option right here. Return to. You're going to put so you can pick where to return to. What I chose was the USB loader GX. So now it knows when I leave a game Instead of going back to the home screen, it'll go back to the loader GX. All right, guys. All right. Uh, all people were asking me about the saving. All the Wii games, they save like a disc. You know, the Wii things you're playing a disc, so it just saves everything on a disc. Oh, sorry, my dog's going crazy. No thunder outside. 
another setting you can change is is this one over here if you're having issues with some um, some of the GameCube games not displaying some of them don't have a uh, the option to, to play the progressive scan so so you'll come over here and you're going to turn down the options here and you go video mode leave it auto progressive patch you can put it on, on and that's the only option I would say you can probably change and then it'll just uh, it'll patch the, the video too so you can play Cause like I show you when I show you my Wii, I have the HDMI adapter. So, all right. And that's it, guys. Basically, all the settings you can leave them the same on the Nintendo. Everything the memory card, everything saves by itself. All right, guys. All the settings you can just leave them alone. Everything is good except except the patching for the um, HD on the GameCube games or the return to the loader. All right, let's go back. As you can see, it takes a little bit to load, but it's not that bad. It's not that slow. All right, guys. Hope this was helpful. If I helped you anyway, please help me with a subscribe or a like or a comment. I appreciate that. All right, guys. Great day. Stay safe and keep living.